Nation. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika, Debo, and Tabs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, who were they? We better go find out. Hey, Blippi! Mika! Over here! Can you help us? We'd love to help. The name's Boom. We're looking for something that we need, but we can't remember what it's called. And I'm Benjamin. The thing we need is kind of shaped like this, but with a less bouncy stick. Whoa! Whoa! Boom's away! Whoa! Oh! Like this. I'll get you out, Debo. Looks like you gotta shake it up. Oh, yeah. Shake it up. <laughs> Whoa. Purple. No. Yellow. No. Oh, hi, Blippi and Mika. I'm Barry. Can you help me find something? <laughs> sure. We would love to help. It's usually red. Red? Got it. But it can also be purple. Or orange. Green. Or every color. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> Hello! I'm blue. I need the yummy for my tummy. You're looking for something that tastes good. It's a yummy and makes me feel happy inside. Oh, no! Hugs? <laughs> What's that? No, it's not that. Not that either. Was it... Boomsicle? Whoa! Oh, yay! Flippy and Mika, I'm Babel. Can you help me find this word? Let's sound it out. Something... Sickle? Tricycle? Bicycle? Whamsicle? Good idea, Tabs. Let's review our notes. It's rectangular and has a stick. It's frozen. It could be any color. It makes you feel happy. And it sounds like something sickle. Hmm, this is tricky. Popsicles! <laughs> you were looking for popsicles. Yeah! yeah! Hey, who are you all? Boom! Benjamin, Barry, Blue, Babble! And we are the Curiosity Crew. Wow! I got the answer to my question. Who were they? They are my new friends, the Curiosity Crew. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! <All right! laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Look at that snowflake. Whoa. Whoa. I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the 
the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I mean, welcome to my cloud. Huh. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. It looks like you're working hard. Huh. You're right. I'm a small particle now. Soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here! Yeah! Go catch, Devo! <laughs> Now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks. You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi. A snowman, perfect. I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it. Stuck the landing. Way to go, Mimi. <laughs> and I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Mimi. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Mmm, mm, 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 salad. Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <coughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth. You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. OK, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs, toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. 
Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye bye. Activate Blippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Rock and roll! That sounded great! I love it! Thank you! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky! We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud! Thank you! Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard! We're going up and down, too! When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud! Huh? Like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth! <laughs> Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank, Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye, Picky. Bye, Blippy. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. <laughs> I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm. I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea. We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm going to need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft. Prop engine confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there. You're not Cocoa Beans. I'm 
need them so we can start making chocolate bars. <laughs> I'm not a bean. It's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. Hi, Blippi. Hi, Debo. <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. Our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready. Ta-da! Whoa, you both look alike. And I have the answer to my question. How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> The same for that mouse. Bubbling cauldrons and a witch's room. Let's go for a ride and sing this tune. Ha <laughs> uh, ha, uh, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume. Ready for a fright. Oh, who's that knocking on the door? Trick or treat is Gets up and walks. You have to come and see from near and far. There's a pirate spider who will greet you with an arr. There's so much fun on Halloween. So many costumes and friends to see. <laughs> Forget to go and trick or treat. You'll have lots of candy that we can all eat. Ha ha, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Oh, who's that?
Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm. I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. You aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Flippy! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita! That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippy Mobile! This time, I'll drive! <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! Whoa! Look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Debo, I think it is helping build the building. Hmm, I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea! We'll go talk to the crane! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs! Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. 
I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it! I'm really doing it! Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness! Look out below! Got it! Now, let's finish the job. <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes lift heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's do do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Whoa. Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four wheel steering so I can turn all four wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed. <laughs> I nailed that! Megan, that was 
and I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Huh? 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 Choo! Thanks! F Achoo! Huh, something is making me sneeze. Hmm, I wonder, why do people sneeze? Yes! It's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Woohoo! Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hello! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Who are you? My name's Petunia, and I'm a piece of pollen! I may be small, but I can make big things happen! <laughs> like a sneeze? You got it! When I'm around people, I bother them! <laughs> and I especially like bothering noses! Come on, bounce with me! Oh, don't worry, it's a nose, it's not gonna bite! Plus, it's fun! <laughs> so, this will make someone sneeze? This is just the start! Since a sniff is coming! Watch out! That wasn't that bad! <laughs> It looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair. It's here to keep pulling like me. And plus other things like dust particles out of your nose. Oh, well, it won't work. Oh, it's fun to be irritating. Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, now a tissue's coming for us. Run! Oh, right. They're really bothering this nose now. <laughs> Take all my is the sneeze coming? It is! <laughs> na 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 na! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh no! Boogers! We did it! Yes! And I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. Okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia. Mmm, yum! These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious! Oh, what a mess! Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling. Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, Devo! I think I know that fly! It's Horace! Hi, Blippi! How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? Oh, it's easy! Watch this! Ta da! Wow! Yes, sir! -y. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor! Skip it, bit it, 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 Now you try! Here goes! Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some! Don't mind if I do. 
here goes! Whoa! Oh, now I stick to the ceiling too! Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh, the glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist! Do the fly leg twist! And get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> Me too! I love looking at spooky houses decorated for Halloween! Wow! Look at all the jack-o'-lanterns! Let's go check it out! <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Pumpkin. You scared me. You're welcome, Blippi. I love to be scared. It's fun. <laughs> it is? Hmm, I wonder. Is it really fun to be scared? Only one way to find out. Let's have a scare contest. Hmm, okay. Let's do it. Yikes! <laughs> score one. Team Pumpkin! Team? I don't see anyone else. Uh, yes! <laughs> oh, hi again, Bones. That's two points for Team Pumpkin! Come on, Bones! Let's plan our next scare! Hmm, we have to come up with a good scare, Debo. What can we do? Huh? <gasps> I have an idea! I'll wear this mask and stand on your shoulders while you howl! <laughs> Let's go! This is gonna be good! <laughs> Score one for Team Blippi! <laughs> Got us good, Blippi! Yeah! Nice work, Debo! Whoa! 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 Cool! A secret hallway? Huh? Oh boy! This is really going to scare them! <laughs> Have an idea. Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out and scare Mr. Pumpkin and Bones. Hey, Bones! Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out to scare Blippi and Debo. Thanks! <laughs> I guess it's a tie. <laughs> All right, Halloween is the but I still don't know the answer to my question. Is it really fun to be scared? <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right, upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for an awesome scare contest, Mr. Pumpkin. I had a lot of fun. No 
problem, Flippy. I had a lot of fun, too. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. <laughs> great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Whoa. Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo. And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on. The first thing I love is riding. Fast! Whee! Whoa! You're really fast! My second favorite thing is oranges. They are so juicy and sweet! Yeah. <gasps> oh no! We can make orange juice! <laughs> Follow me! Okay, my third favorite thing is... Musica! I love music! Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa. You're welcome, Paco. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder what's underneath the ocean. Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Cherry, Cherry the Jellyfish. Hey. 
It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friend. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right. Thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp! Kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Taps. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa! That fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry! Jerry? Flippy, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on! I scared a gray whale, and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus and a shark and a sea turtle and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter and a seahorse and a lobster and a stingray. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, huh? this spider web looks amazing. You're right, Debo. Spider webs do have such artistic designs. I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes, let's go find a spider to ask. I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Bonjour, I'm Spencer. You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you about to make a web? I am. It's going to be my greatest masterpiece. The webbiest web of all time. <gasps> want to help? Yeah. I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create. Debo, I'll be right back. <gasps> Blippi, you can be my holder and tester. My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use six strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach. <laughs> to a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel. That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece. Can you hold this strand in place, Blippi? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Blippi, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you, my masterpiece. Now you can test it, bounce against it, see if it holds. Whee! Whoa, the sticky part is for catching bugs to eat. <laughs> your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong 
and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. <laughs> bye bye Au revoir! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, uh, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon! That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T-minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk incoming! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh no! I got it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Whoa! Look at all the blinking fire. Fireflies. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I love counting. Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly. What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look at all those different flashing patterns! Maybe it's a counting game! One, two, three! 
One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. Huh? Hey, it's me, Blippi. I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey, I'm Felicia. And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> you again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time. Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo. <laughs> moves like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style. And with style like that, I just can't stop. Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy. Felicia saves the day. Works every time. Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah. Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it! We found your match! Now that's my style. <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three, one, two, three. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa. Whoa! That one's blue! <gasps> that one is red, Tabs! Oh, and that one is green! Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs! Let's go investigate! I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm! Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and the fireworks as high as the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa, great. Even in the air. Remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful. Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here 
comes another one, Tabs! Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right. Let's go. <gasps> Here it comes. The grand finale. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. What an amazing show. And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Activate Flippy Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy. Look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole. Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. We found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. <sighs> this is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> okay, now watch. Okay, do you remember where I just buried all those acorns? Of course we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <laughs> we can't find any acorns. That's right, because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool. And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts and other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky. Bye-bye. <laughs> Keep digging. <laughs> what a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! <laughs> Attack of the Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make bubbles? <laughs> Great idea. We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash.
Hi! Ho, oh, good boy! I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to- Wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh. <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you! Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Better button turn. Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies! The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And... shoo ba -da boop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me, let's make some more bubbles! And I know just a fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water, get them sized up on the soap, make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! <laughs> bye bye Marvin! Bye-bye, Blippi! Bye-bye, everyone! What's making that sound? Oh! It's a race car! It's going so fast! Huh? You're right! The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo! We can go to the racetrack and find out! I'm gonna need race car tires! Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi! I'm Ricardo! Let me show you on the track! Let's race! All right! Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. Huh? I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamic. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! You can do it, Debo! 
Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one! Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing! Come see, it's the best show in town! The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark! Cool! Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Huh? I got it! Phew! That was close! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, 
Whoa, look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippy. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah. It's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice slide detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Where could it be? Great swimmers! <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! Activate Blippy Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Whoa, Tabs! Look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder what kind of animals live in a rainforest. I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bai. The giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! 
this bamboo is as tall as a house. The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey. Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream. Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, bye. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> huh? Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the shore. You're on. How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow, just like my nose. <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy. Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not? also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? 
<laughs> Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savanna. Bye-bye, Tembo. <laughs> we had such a blast. There, all finished. Carve away, Tabs. That's very nice. Whoa! <laughs> Whoopsie. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And that's... <laughs> Tabs. I'm Peter. <sighs> that was a big sigh, Peter. Is something wrong? Yeah, I'm a little sad. Why are you sad? It's Halloween. I think a spider would love Halloween. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite holiday. But no one ever invites me to their parties because I'm too scary. That's a great idea, Tabs. We'll throw Peter a Halloween party and invite all of our Halloweeny friends to meet him. Really? For me? <laughs> Thank you. I wonder how... Do you throw the best Halloween party? Ooh, I know, I know! I'm a Halloween expert! First, we need spooky decorations to set the mood. And I know spooky! Snacks for everyone! How about worms? Gummy worms! Oh, don't forget the scary cupcakes! And the finishing spooky touch! Halloween fruit punch! Now we just need... Halloween costumes! I'm going as... A pirate! Yar! I'm a construction worker! Nice avocado costume tabs. Dressing up is so much fun. Ooh, our guests. Right on time. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, goody. Wait a minute. Just one guest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Don't mind if I do! This is the best Halloween party e e e e e e ever! When ghosts get really eerie and pumpkins very cheery, witches do entrance and black cats start to dance. Spiders spin their webs and skeletons lose their heads. It's the scariest time you've ever seen. Must be Halloween! <laughs> and I got to make so many new friends! And now I have the answer to my question. How do you throw the best Halloween party? To throw the best Halloween party, you need fun decorations, yummy snacks and treats, a good costume, and great friends. Upload answer tabs. Thanks so much for a fun party, Blippi. You're welcome, Peter. Woo! <laughs> Oh no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, hello up there! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo! <laughs> nice to meet you both! I'm Ivan! 
Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Ooh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow, these colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, huh? can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? <laughs> Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You've reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Debo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Tabs! That bouncy castle is out of this world! Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can <laughs> just <laughs> get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here! I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. 
But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters. They're trick-or-treaters, because it's Halloween. <laughs> of course, Debo. I can teach you how to trick-or-treat. Did somebody say trick-or-treat? Whoa. Oh, hi, Rita. This is my friend, Debo. <laughs> hi, Debo. I'm Rita the raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free well, you're just in time because Debo and I are about to go trick-or-treating. Wait, Debo! We still need a few things before we go. The first thing we'll need are costumes. Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see. There we go! Ooh, ooh. Boo. <laughs> I'm a blippy ghost. Whoa! <laughs> We've got a karate master trick-or-treating with us. Opa! And now a chef! <laughs> so cool! Boo! I'll just stick with a mask! Our costumes are ready! Time for the next step! Containers to hold our treats. Cool jack-o'-lantern pails. Hey, yeah, yeah, trash bag. <laughs> Ooh, my first treat. Now it's time to hit the streets. It's getting dark. A glowing ghost. Fun. Okay. <laughs> Be sure to pick a house that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Come on! What are you waiting for? <laughs> Trick, Trick or, or treat. treat! Thank you! Happy Halloween! What? Shoot! Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick-or-treat! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween! Whoa! Those scare me every time! Trick-or-treat! Trick-or-treat! Look, Look what, what I, I got. got! Whoa! Look at all these treats! Thanks for helping me teach Debo how to trick-or-treat, Rita! And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say trick or treat to get goodies in return. And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> our cool blippy mobile you're right debo our car does have amazing things hmm i wonder what were the first cars like 
Good idea. We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing. I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive. Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool. So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine. The engine started. Yeah. It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seat belts? Okay, let's go to the top of that hill. <laughs> we made it! Knew we would! Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! Does the car have any brakes? It sure does. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> Hot dog. And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats. And you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion! We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slip Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or Vegetable. Tell us your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seed in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh. Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. 
Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you get two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. Oh, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrink it down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Flippy and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud, and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go. Uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again! Thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa! You use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk. Oh, oh, look, a shark's tooth. Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot. Hmm, I wonder. How many teeth does a shark have? <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller. Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! 
Oh, hi there. I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello. I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoa, someone called a tooth fairy. Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in, the water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when their front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi! Don't forget the floss! <laughs> All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Ah, uh, y'all, welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all! Uh-oh! Nice birdie! <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello! We're here! Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right, my antennas are twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all, bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. Okay, ants, let's get some food. 
Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Whoa! <laughs> Grapes are good. Walnuts are yum. Cheese and crackers. I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all. Let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> bye bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. moves you got there. I'm Bella the bear. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no. I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast. <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do. Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right, we're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Work, Blippi. <laughs> well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles. The bare version of a big comfy blanket. Oh, thanks! That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. 